Okay, so this is my like sixth sixth time trying to do this. I'm just gonna be quick. I'm doing a video contest and it is for Equestrian A V and Horse Chick Six Five Five's question contest and I will put their link in the sidebar over there. Okay, you have to answer ten questions, five about horses, five ran four random and one bonus. I'm gonna start now. Favorite horse on YouTube and why? That would be May May Rox's horse. Um Jack, because when he jumps, he like pops his tail up, and it's just really cute when he goes over the jumps. I'll put her link in the sidebar. Number two, um, debate hunter's form of riding. Um, hunters, you've got your flat classes, over fences classes, X classes. There's so many different classes, and with like adventures, it's just dressage, cross country, and jumping. And then, like, with barrels and western, all, like, the pattern of the poles and the barrels is going to be the same, but with hunters, the fence pattern, like, the over fences classes are the same. I mean, are completely different, so you have to learn all these different things. And I just think hunters is a little bit more complicated, I guess. I mean, not really, but parentheses, I don't hate other types of riding, other disciplines of riding. Okay, I'm just saying this for the contest. Okay, so I'm going so fast with this. I'd be more creative if I had more time, but the YouTube webcam thing will let me do 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> number three. Come here, Rosie. You see my puppy. Who has influenced my riding the most? That would be my best friend, Devin. Her link to her YouTube page in the sidebar. Not many people are subscribed, but you totally should because she might actually make more videos. Um, She's just an inspiration because she's such a good rider. I just try really hard to be like her. Like, she had mono for, like, a month, I guess. And then, like, two weeks later, when she got better and could ride, she was jumping 2-6 again. So she's just naturally really good and doesn't have to really work on a lot. She's just an inspiration because I, like, I mean, she's influenced my riding just because she's inspired me to, like, be a better rider. And I love her, and she's my best friend. Number four your best show memory that would be a couple weekends ago when I took Scout to his first show and my first show on him and his first time off the property since we brought him home for being trained but um we came home with one first two, three seconds and two thirds and a reserve champion and this is his first show and yeah there are only like four or five people in each class but we still never came in last place I'm just so proud of him I love my pony Number five is the scariest memory of riding, and this is when I was between the ages of 10 and 12, I don't know exactly, and I was with my old trainer, and um, this is before she had moved, and um, I was riding her horse, Guinevere, and I was still working like my heel and stuff, and my heel popped up and after, after the jump, and after the jump my foot came out of the stirrup, and then I, being naive and freaking out, I like turned her, try and stop her, I guess, and, um, I, like, fell into the way I was turning her, because, I mean, my body was leaning, and I fell on my back, and got the breath knocked out of me, and then I got, like, a scar on my elbow, which you can't see on here, because I've already tried to, like, show you. You can kind of see it. Right there. Yeah, you can kind of see it, but that's my scar from my riding story. I mean, my worst riding experience. Scariest memory. Memory. So that's it for the um, horse questions. Moving on to the four random questions. The first one is, where in anywhere in the world would I live and why? And I would live in London, England, because I've already been there, so I know what it's like. Two, um... They have really hot guys, and um, they also they have hot guys that are like from London, and then they have hot guys that are like tourists that come from all over the world. Um, they have a great accent. Their food's okay. So, I mean, they have like American fast food, so I just eat there. Um, the weather's not that great, I guess, but I don't really care. Oh, also, one of the main reasons is because they have this park that has a riding ring in it and like has jumps in it and people weren't riding when I was there 
but you can take your horse to like this public park it's huge but still the second question is favorite nail polish color and like the brand and is nail polish color is Sally Hansen okay well I don't know why it's not focusing I guess this isn't like autofocus but it's Sally Hansen's high definition nail color and it's pretty pixel okay well it's called or pixel pretty sorry but it's like a, this tealish color it's really pretty it's my favorite color um, crap okay if I could be any animal what would it be I would be a platypus because I um, love Perry the platypus so much like with all my heart um, but that's not the only reason I would be a platypus because um, they're a semi-aquatic mammal mammal so they can like live on land and live underwater they lay eggs which is cool they have like a paddle a paddle tail like a beaver but like a bill like a duck and they have these claws that are like poisonous so if I could be an animal, I'd be a platypus. So I could have claws and a duck bill and a beaver tail. And also because Perry the Platypus is awesome. If you don't know Perry the Platypus, it's from Phineas and Ferb. Um so yeah. I'm trying to find this last question. Crap. Shush. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I I like skipped a question. I don't know why. Hold on. Hold on. I'm so 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 sorry. I'm trying to figure out what the next question is. Okay. Um y'all skipped question number 3 for the random questions. It just goes from number 2, favorite nail polish color to number 4. So, I'm just making a note of that in the video. And then the bonus question, okay, so I'd be a uh, platypus because of Perry and the awesome skill that you have. Um, my bonus question is um, your most embarrassing moment. And I honestly haven't had any really bad embarrassing moments. Like, you couldn't see my underwear through anything, or I haven't started my period at school. So, I'm um, say the most embarrassing moment I had was in sixth grade. And I was standing by my locker, and honestly, I was picking my nose because I didn't think anyone was around me. So I picked my nose or something up there. I didn't have a tissue. Mind you, I was in sixth grade, and I was a weird kid in sixth grade. I didn't have it, hardly any friends. And so this kid that I had a crush on for the longest time, like, saw me picking my nose and started laughing at me called me a nose picker and then I told him I was like I wasn't picking my nose I was just scratching at it and I was really honestly picking my nose wait I can also say actually I wasn't no I think I was anyway the embarrassing part was that this guy that I had a crush on when I was a little accused me of picking my nose if I did or not and was like laughing at me the whole time so that's my embarrassing moment and um, I've taken up about nine minutes of your time. So just take note that you didn't have question number three for the random questions. And if you did somewhere, then I'm really sorry. You can tell me to redo this. But thanks for entering, everyone. Y'all should enter. And it's a really fun contest. So have fun. Okay, thanks. Bye.